Welcome to the State Television Company, Western Armenia. Broadcast for today. The speech of the Speaker of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia. The churches of Kiryans and Voskepar are now called as a Gvanian monument. Armenian folk music and national dance as a tourist product. An aerospace engineering school was founded in Eastern Armenia. The symphony orchestra under the label of Deutsche Gramophon is the first orchestra in the region. A family relic was donated to Madenadara. Karate player Gorn Ersisan won a bronze medal. Support Western Armenian Television. On June 15, Armenia Sahakian, the Speaker of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia, made a speech and briefly presented the important events of the past week within the framework of the Republic of Western Armenia. In her speech, she referred to the meetings of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia and the National Assembly, quoting the speeches of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Markosyan, and the President of the National Council of the Republic of Western Armenia, Mr. Armen Akabrahamyan, and the suggestions made by the National Assembly. The speaker quoted the speech of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, in which Ms. President in particular emphasized about the importance of the Armenian language and suggested again to hold sessions in the Armenian language. Also, Ms. President reminded the knowledge and application of the Treaty of Severis regarding the stable establishment of the Republic of Western Armenia as a state and government. Ms. President emphasized, I am quoting here. Although we are still a young government and we will need years to achieve the final victory, but we will achieve our goals and the final victory step by step with our daily work. Continuing to present the progress of the week, Armin Sagan spoke about the speech of the President of the National Council of the Republic of Western Armenia, Menak Abrahamian, on the most important provisions of the Treaty of Severus and quoting the words of the President that I am quoting here. We must support the implementation of the Treaty of Severus and bring it to life. We elected a president based on the national constitution and ratified the Treaty of Severus. The state of Western Armenia ratified the Treaty of Severus. Therefore, the eighth anniversary of its important event is coming soon, and we will celebrate that significant event. On August 10, the Treaty of Severus was also signed by Sultanate Turkey by order of the Sultan, and there are videos which are important and significant facts, and we must use them for the benefit in favor of the stable establishment of our Republic of Western Armenia, stated the President, Mr. Armenak Abrahamian. Continuing to present the progress of the week, uh, the speaker also spoke about the proposal made by the chairwoman of the National Assembly of Western Armenia, Nelly Harutsunyan, regarding the grant application model for implementing the program presented by our institutions. You can learn more details of the speech of the speaker of the government of the Republic of Western Armenia through the following links. Baku now calls the eastern and southern regions of Eastern Armenia as Western Azerbaijan. They present our native land as Azerbaijan and Armenian culture they present as Agvanian or Turkish. This is reported by the monitoring of the cultural heritage of Artsakh, independent academic platform. In this context, Baku also referred to the monuments in the demarcation area to their so-called Agvanian origin and the elimination of Agvanian traces by renovation of the Armenian site. This time, they called Church St. Yerot Tutun of the village of Kiran and said Astvatatsin in Voskepar as Agvanian monuments and Kiran's village St. Trinity Church of Kiran's village is a 19th century free nave basilica church built of local rough stones. Now the repair works are being carried out aimed at the initial form of the structure. The main features of the monument is the three pairs of complete stone pillars supporting the roof. St. Astvatatsin Church of the Voskepar is a structure dating from the end of the 6th century and to the beginning of the 7th century. Inscriptions have not been presented on the structure. The cross designs as especially unique on the building. The church is currently undergoing repair for on the root of the structure. In the near future, active work will be carried out in the direction of presenting Armenian folk music and national dance as a tourist product. The start of the activity was given by the cooperation agreement. Tourism does not always have an economic meaning. It has a very important social, cultural, and even political significance, noted Mehal Kaprisian, the head of the Armenian Tourism Federation, and added that the tourism sector has great opportunities to adequately represent the entire cultural diversity of the Armenian people. Dance ensemble concerts are expected to be included in tour packages introducing Armenian culture to tourists. Travel companies are already selling tours for 2025 and it is extremely important that they today can know clearly about the next year's concerts and festivals. 
The dream of Ayn Mehrabian, the hero of 44 day war, was to create an aerospace machinery industry in Armenia. In order to make Ayn's dream come true, the boy's parents decided to implement an education program, giving many young people the opportunity to receive free education in relevant fields. The courses are held at the Ayn Mehrabian Foundation, named after the hero. Charitable Foundation Ayn Mehrabian is one of the beneficiaries of annual grant program of the Charitable Foundation of Stepan Gishan. Special printers were purchased for the purpose of organizing free dimensional modeling courses. In addition to IR Engineering, the Creative Foundation also conducts a free dimensional modeling course. Armenia State Symphony Orchestra of Eastern Armenia is the first orchestra in the region to release an album under the world-famous label Deutsche Grammophon. The orchestra reports that the album, titled Aznavuriana, is dedicated to the works of Charles Aznavour. It features the living music of art of Sar Aznavour. Instrumental versions of the works were recorded by the symphony orchestra with the famous cellist Camille Thoma. The idea is the conductor Sergei Sambatyan. The album includes Aznavour's famous compositions in total. The 15 performances are included. Recording works were done in Yerevan and Paris. In the near future, they are also planned to have a concert video where some new works of Charles Navour, as well as those included in the album, will be presented in the concert version. The recording of the album was carried out by the 10-time Grammy-winning sound producer Christopher Elder, who represents the Deutsche Grammophon Company. Grigor Diego Azadian, who is from Javak, Beirut, donated his family relic new scripture to Matena Daran. The spiritual grandfather of Grigor Diego Azadian, who migrated from Erzurum to Nurashen village of Akhaltsha in 1814, also saved the old gospel with him. His mother handed down the gospel to him, inherited from his grandfather. Years later, he decided to give the relic, the ancient illustrated gospel, to Madan Adaran because he thought that the book will be safer and cured in that way. With his action, he emphasized the importance of Armenian manuscript and called to follow his example. Karate player Gordon Ersisan won a bronze medal at the BRICS 2024 Games held in Kazan, Russia. In the game for the bronze medal, Gore won the Chinese competitor. In this weight class, the winner was Eduard Gasparian from Russia. Armenia already has won gold and three bronze medals in the BRICS Games. Early karate player Suren Hayatunyan won a gold medal. Samba players Arthur Manukyan and Arsen Khanjian became bronze medalists. It should be noted that the sports games of the BRICS countries are taking place in the city of Gazan from June 12 up to 23. The program includes 27 sports. Dear viewers, support the television company Western Armenia. The national television of Western Armenia, being faithful to its principles and viewers, continues its uninterrupted work with new approaches. As you already know, our television does not engage in self-promotion and it mainly broadcasts political and other contests related to the history of Western Armenia as well as issues that raise various subjects. We also present the political transition of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, the government, the National Assembly and other structures in a transparent and accessible manner. Dear viewers, with your support, the possibilities of our television will expand and strengthen even more. We are strong together. This was all for today. I wish you peace and harmony. Goodbye.